guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this makeup look today. Not my best look, in my opinion. I don't know what happened. I've used this palette before, and today it just got patchy. I'm not sure what happened, but I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, which I'm pretty sure you can, because this camera picks up literally everything. Okay, if I had a dot of mascara on my face, you'd be able to see it. Um, so it got kind of patchy if you guys could see right there it got a little patchy over here too I don't know what's going on but this probably was really testing my skills but it is what it is you win some and you lose some even though today's look didn't come out exactly how I wanted I feel like I love the color combo that I created and I just want to show you guys that my looks don't always come out as I want them to so it is what it is but for today's video I actually used this palette right here which like I said I've used this palette before so I'm not sure what happened today this is the La Rock Pro the Circus Tent palette this is what the cover looks like right here and it's a really gorgeous palette um, like I said I've used it before and have never had any issues with it here's what it looks like right here it is so stunning so this is the palette we're going to be using today i hope you guys are excited for today's video because i sure am i also did use the new nars light reflecting foundation again i have been loving that foundation it is so beautiful i mean look at my skin the foundation is phenomenal and in today's video i finally showed you guys my lip combo in today's look this has been my go-to nude lip especially when I want a glossy nude lip which is like 99% of the time um, so yeah you guys this is the look we're gonna be doing it today we had a few struggles but we made it through and I am here and you are seeing today's video because I decided to post it so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's video before we jump in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if if you would like to see my struggle with today's look and see how I created it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so jumping straight into today's look. By the way, happy Friday. I'm posting this as Friday's upload. So if you're watching this on Friday, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. But I'm going to start off with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2.5. You guys know I love this base. It's amazing. The color is perfect. I like to apply it to my lid and then blend it out with the buffing brush. The brush name will be on the screen if you guys are interested. Definitely make sure you blend your base out towards your temple because you just never know where your eyeshadow is going to end and you want to make sure you have everything covered with an eyeshadow base. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Circus Tent Palette from La Roque. And like I said, it's such a beautiful palette and I've used this palette before and have never had an issue. So I don't know what was going on today. But the first shade I'm going to be using is the shade Monkey and I'm going to take this in the inner part of the eye. Now, you guys can see with today's eye look that we're using two different shades in the crease so you want to take this shade about halfway um, and just make sure you only leave it halfway because you want it to be as symmetrical as possible the next shade I'm gonna go into is the shade carousel which is a beautiful pink and I'm gonna take this on the same brush and I'm gonna use that to start to basically just diffuse that harsh line that I created with the shade monkey this is super super tedious and it's gonna look a little bit off at first I'm not gonna lie because I guess we're so used to seeing the entire crease covered and working on blending that way but for today you're working on half the crease first so now what I'm gonna do is take this shade bubblegum and I'm using that to blend out that darker pink and as per usual we're just using darkest to lightest the higher you get up to the brow bone the the lighter you want the shade to be basically so now we're gonna start with the orange I'm first going in with the shade animal a super beautiful super vibrant pigmented orange and I'm gonna start to now create that shape so I'm going for a more rounded eye for today's look and so that's exactly exactly how I'm going to apply that orange shade and this was really nice and pigmented I did take my time and build it up just because I needed to build it to get to its full intensity but it built up really quickly and it was a beautiful shade so I'm just going in with the blending brush and just kind of diffusing those edges with no other color I'm just running the brush against that eyeshadow and then the next shade I'm going to be using is called giggles and I'm taking this on a fluffier brush this brush right here 
is my holy grail if you love blending and you like very precise blending you're going to love that brush definitely pick it up if you don't have it so now I'm just going back in with all of the most intense shades that I use so the darker pink and the darker orange and I'm just making sure they're nice and intense so you should have something like this and now here is where we get to the fun part okay listen this is makeup okay you make up your own rules and you do what you want because can't nobody tell you anything and worst case scenario you just have to wipe it off because it didn't work out so I'm going in with the black eyeshadow yes girl a black eyeshadow now this honey this is daring because these two shades that I used the pink and the orange they're so vibrant and light but they have no depth so even though they're pigmented they're vibrant and they're beautiful they don't have any depth to them so now we're adding a black that has probably the most depth you'll ever see in an eyeshadow and we're gonna try to blend the two together so I'm packing it into my crease but keeping it towards the socket of my eye so where my eyelid is basically the most hollow you want to pack on that color and then to try and blend it out I'm going in with the deepest shades of the pink and the orange that we used so for the pink I went in with monkey and for the orange I went in with animal and I basically just sat there and blended blended until my arms were gonna fall off to be honest like you just have to blend and just hope that it blends together because again I'm the girl that tries to put colors together that probably don't go together but like I said this is makeup so you would never know unless you try so now I'm gonna go back in with all of the lighter shades as well and just make sure everything is really nice and blended because everything's gonna kind of fade as you blend so you just want to make sure that you're going back in and just re-intensifying everything so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm also going back in with a little bit more of a detailed blending brush and just making sure those super vibrant darker shades are also really nice and blended so I did the same thing with the orange now I'm doing the same thing with the pink this look is definitely super super tedious especially because we're adding that black but if you have patience and you blend 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 I guarantee it's going to come out so beautiful so now that I'm pretty happy with all the colors and the blend I'm gonna go in and cut my crease this right here is the Garnier micellar water specifically the one with the pink cap they have one with the blue cap a yellow cap they have tons of them now but this is my favorite one so you do want to go ahead and apply it to your q-tip and basically just start to create the outline of your cut crease and really just clean up the lid now what this is gonna do it's gonna basically just prep you so that when you go in with whatever base you're gonna be using Using to actually cut your crease whether that's blank canvas from P Louise which is what I use or it's a concealer it's gonna be super easy and you're gonna almost have like a guideline if that makes sense so definitely work in sections with this as well it makes your life so much easier and here is what it should look like now I looked in the mirror and I was like okay the opposite eye is a little bit more pigmented I brought the black a little bit higher on that eye so now is the perfect time to fix that because you don't have your base down yet so I just went back in with the black eyeshadow, just intensified it a little bit more and brought the black up a little bit higher. So this is why it's super important to just take a step back and look at your work and see if there's anything you want to change before you move on to the next step. So I went back in with the Q-tip just to clean up any of that black that might have fell on the lid. And now I just went in with P. Louise Base in blank canvas. And I did cut my crease off camera because it honestly it takes me a while. I spent like 20 minutes just cutting my crease. So moving on I'm gonna be going in with the black eyeshadow again and this black eyeshadow was nice but it wasn't super pigmented which is not always a bad thing because you do have kind of like a little bit of wiggle room with this color but I wish it was just a little bit more pigmented to be honest because I stood there trying to pack it on for a while so now I decided to go in with the orange right after the black again I knew in my mind that this was gonna be a challenge to try to blend these two shades together but I'm always up for a challenge so we went in with that orange and then I went in with the lighter orange which is called giggles and I also went in with a little bit of banana as well to try and just create like a lighter orange now when it comes to blending your shades together what I'm doing here is if you take your brush and ever so slightly just rub it against the edge of that color with the color that's gonna go after it and vice versa you're gonna get a beautiful blend so just a little tip on that then I did go in with the shade funky as the pink and also euphoria which is a beautiful lilac shade in the inner corner and then I also added a white eyeshadow all the way in the inner inner corner 
y'all know what I'm saying. So moving on, I did go ahead and just add a black liner and just line my lash line so that way when I apply my lashes, there's not any space in between and you don't see any of those colors peeking through my lash. And now I'm going in with some mascara. This right here is the Rare Beauty Mascara and I'm telling you guys, I was like, mm, I don't know about this look, but let's keep going. So we're going to do complexion. I'm going to be using the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I am obsessed. It is so good. This right now is my go-to combo. It's so beautiful. So I go ahead and apply this to my skin. I like to apply it everywhere. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. If you still have not tried this foundation, you need to. It is so beautiful. It's so skin-like. And I just love NARS's colors in their foundation. Their undertones for me are amazing. I feel like NARS is one of the only brands that I can use just one shade of foundation and it look amazing. So I'm going with that foundation and as a beauty sponge, I'm using the e.l.f. sponge. It's actually a trio pack that you can get at Ulta Beauty. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys are interested. It is super affordable and this is honestly my favorite sponge. E.l.f. sponges are literally the best affordable sponges. For bronzer, I decided to use the Made by Mitchell Blurch Cream Bronzer in the shade Shady Business. I haven't used this in a little hot minute. I've been addicted to my Rare Beauty bronzing stick. So I was like, let's bring her back out because she's amazing and we love her. So that's what I'm using to go ahead and bronze up my skin. And you guys already know when it comes to the nose, listen honey, we just apply it, blend it, and we keep going. I know nothing about nose contour. But this has been working for me, so I'm going to just keep doing that. For concealer, I decided to try an oldie but goodie. This is a holy grail concealer for me. I've been so caught up with using the ABH one and the one size and all the new concealers that I've been trying that I completely forgot about my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. And every single time I use this concealer, it just blows me away. I'm always like, why do I even bother using anything else? Because this one is so good. But yeah i love it if you haven't tried it definitely try it i use mine in the shade cream cafe and it's bomb so now i'm gonna go in and just set my concealer in place i'm using my collapse at the stage powder now i just noticed when trying to link it for you guys in another video that these actually come in shades so for today's video in the description box i'm gonna put the exact shade that i use i think this one is in cream or cream puff I'm not 100% sure, but it's going to be down below in the description box if you guys are interested. To set the rest of my face, I went in with my e.l.f. Camo CC Powder. This is a really nice drugstore powder. It adds some extra coverage to my skin. I just need to get it in a lighter shade. And then for bronzer, I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Tan. It's my holy grail. I love it so much. It's bomb and you need it. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with the Danessa Myricks Cream Blush Palette. This is actually for your cheeks and your lips and I have been loving it. I use it over a set face. So you guys saw I already applied all my powders and now I'm going in with the cream and it does not lift my foundation. Not even a little bit. It's beautiful. For blush, powder blush, to set the cream in place, I'm going to be using the KVD Vegan Beauty Blush in the shade Honeysuckle. It's my absolute favorite. It is so pretty and it's such a muted blush, but it's really pigmented. So it goes with any eye look that you do and it's just stunning. So this is the face makeup for now. Let's move back into the eyes. So for the lower lash line, I'm going in with the black eyeshadow first. I always like to add the deepest, darkest shade that I used for the eye look first because I want that color to be closest to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with the orange shade, which is called Animal. And I'm taking that on that same flat definer brush just to kind of diffuse that black. And I also added a little bit of bubble gum to the inner corner there, but you couldn't really tell the difference between the pink and the orange. So it kind of just looks like I applied orange everywhere. So whatever, it is what it is. And then I took a fluffier brush and I added the shade Bananas, which is a beautiful yellow. And then of course you lose intensity. So I went back in with the black just to add that black in intense look one more time and then for the inner corner I went back in with the ABH Riviera palette I used the white eyeshadow in that palette because it's my absolute favorite and then for my lower lash line I'm going in with the LA girl neon shockwave liner in the shade screaming these are beautiful I talk about them all the time they're so pigmented and also super affordable so if you like colorful glam and you like doing bold colorful waterline looks definitely check out these liners. I think you'll really enjoy them. And then I'm just going to add some lower lash mascara. This is the MAC Giga Black Mascara. 
So now let's move on to the lips. I'm so proud of myself for getting my lip combo on camera today. So this right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Cool Brown. I love this shade. I need to go see what other shades she has because this is a very deep brown, but it's a cool brown. So it's extremely neutral, which is what I look for in a lip liner. So I definitely want to find a little bit of a lighter shade, but right now this is my go-to. So I like to line my lips and then I do feather in the lip liner just a little bit and kind of blot my lips together to get everything nice and blended. And then of course I'm going in with my Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in the shade Nakey Nakey. It is so pretty, I love it, and it is the perfect nude for me. And then I'm going to go in with the Sephora Lip Cream. Now this is so pigmented that I only apply it to my bottom lip, and then I blot my lips together so that way a little bit transfers to my top lip. And then I go in with the brush just to kind of blend everything out. And the shade of that lip cream will be down below as well if you guys are interested. So then I was like, do we leave the lips matte? Do we make them glossy? Let's make them glossy. So this right here is the Dose of Colors Gloss in the shade Can You Not? It is so gorgeous. Look at that. So beautiful okay so now let's go ahead and highlight I'm gonna go in with the makeup forever highlighter the shade name will be down below in the description box so when it comes to my nose I like to highlight the top of my nose towards my brow and then the tip of my nose I feel like it looks more natural it looks beautiful and that's kind of where the light hits so you don't have just like a stripe of highlight on the nose and then also for the cheeks I only highlight the tippy top of my cheek exactly where the light hits and then I like to go back in with my blush brush just to make sure everything is blended and then of course I sprayed my setting spray on a clean side of my beauty blender and just pressed it into the skin to get that really beautiful glow so that basically completes today's look thank you guys so much for watching and of course as always I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys